When Victor Axelsson won the world title in Glasgow last year, his 21-year-old compatriot Anders Antonsen watched on excitedly and expectantly, knowing what this meant for his own badminton ambitions. The current world number 16 welcomes the raised level of competition and a healthy rivalry between two of the country's exciting men's singles talents. He's world number one and I would like to be world number one one day, so uh, at some point there is a yeah, there is uh, something because um, yeah, we all want to, to be the best. But um, we are using each other uh, in practice every day and uh, helping each other to get better. And I think that's that's really important if if we are going to to be able to compete with with Asia and the rest of the world. Then we need to help each other. If, uh, if we're working against each other, then I think it would be it would be hard for us to compete with uh, with the rest of the world. My father works in a badminton club that's just uh, yeah, 200 meters away from, from where we lived um, back in my hometown in Denmark. So um, that was uh, mainly because of him, um, because uh, he was working there. So I was uh, spending a lot of time in, in the hall and uh, both my mom and dad played as well. So uh, yeah, I, I used to, uh, to play with them whenever there was a, a free court. Mostly I lost and I got really angry and sad. Uh, and locked myself into, uh, there was like a, a box where you could, uh, yeah, in, in the gym, uh, in the hall. So uh, when I lost, I, uh, yeah, I went uh, in the box and hide it for, for hours for my, so my, my mother and dad couldn't find me. I will probably say Lin Dan, Li Chengwei, Peter Gate, and uh, yeah. You know, growing up, I, I watched them a lot. Um, they were, Whenever there was Benson in television, it was always those guys who was in the semi-final or final. So uh, yeah, I used them. Um, I used uh, to watch watch these guys really much. I actually haven't played uh, Lin Dan all Chung Wei yet. I had the experience with Ching Long um, a few times now, and uh, the first time it's like a, a little bit weird because you used to, to watch them in the television, and suddenly you are you are standing in front of them. So. Um, but that's just a great experience and yeah, I really hope to, to face uh, Lindana and Li Chongwei before they retire. That meant a lot, especially doing it on home court. Um, it was a great experience um, and also to I mean, show myself and show everyone around me that I, I'm, I, have, I have what it takes to you know, compete with the best guys in the world. And Mark Schwiebler is one of them and Victor is, <laughs> is of course one of them. So. You know, beating players like that is, is already always uh, great, really great because it, it gives great uh, confidence to, to go on and, and chase dreams and just it makes me believe, believe more in, in, in my dreams that, that I know I'm able to, to be some of the best players in the world. We are traveling so much and sometimes I can get a little tired of airports and you know, yeah, just traveling so much and being at a, a hotel room is, is uh, quite lonely sometimes. Um, so uh, yeah, it can be a little lonely uh, at times, um, but luckily we are a big group of Danish players so we often have a, have a good time together. When you are as young as I am and, and you suddenly are on, on this tour, then it's it's great to have some guys to look up to and learn from. We definitely have some great players and that, that are older than me and have experienced this uh, level and being on the tour for a long time. So, you know, it, it's great to, to be able to learn from them. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's really important. I've learned to relax a little bit and not push myself too hard uh, the days before, uh, before a match because the body needs to stay Stay fresh. Um, that's uh, that was probably uh, a little problem in the earlier days that I was pushing myself too hard and I was a bit drained when I when I started the tournament. I would like to see myself in the top eight uh, quite soon. Um, right now I'm bouncing between uh, like 12 to 17 and uh, yeah. In that stage, so I would like to, to break into top 10 and top 8 um, as soon as possible. But I mean, it's tough, tough competition, but I mean, I'm enjoying the process. Um, I'm developing slowly um, but surely, and, and I'm, I'm getting out there and I can compete with some of the best guys in the world. And 
yeah, I just need to, you know, keep working and keep getting more and more dedicated to, to the sport and I hopefully within a short time I can be, you know, in the top of the world.